Welcome to Shishi Lakshmi's virtual classroom. Today we're going to see law of exponents, power to a power. When raising a power to a power in an exponential expression, you find the new power by multiplying the two powers together. So here, let's so let's see an example. A power m, the whole power n. So, to find the new power, we multiply the two powers together. So here we keep the base the same. So we write a, and then we multiply the powers m and n. So it's a power m into n. Let's see another example. A divided by b, the whole power m. The whole power n. So here, the exponents are m and n. So we keep the base the same and only multiply the exponents. So we keep a divided by b. The whole power m into n, since these are the two exponents. So let's see another example. Four power two raised to the power of three. So here the base is four and the exponents are two and three. So we keep the base the same and multiply the exponents. So we keep four and multiply the exponents two and three. So it's four power two into three. Two into three is six, so it's four power six. Now, let's try the expanded form for better understanding. So the pro, so the expression is four power two raised to the power of three. So four power two is four into four. So it says to write it three times. So four into four, into four into four, into four into four. So let's count how many fours there are. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six fours. So it is four power six. As you see, both the ways give the same answer, which is four power six. Let's see another example. Two power three into x power two, the whole power four. So here, as you see, the dot indicates multiplication. So, when taking a product to a power, you distribute the power to all the terms inside, taking the product of each of them. So here, as you see, the bases are two and x. Two power three, the whole power four, into x power two, the whole power four. So here, two is a constant, and x is a variable. So two power. Three, the whole power four. So we multiply three into four. So we do two power three into four into. So it's x power two, the whole power four. So we multiply the exponents. So it's x power two into four. So it's two power three into four is twelve. So two power twelve into x. So, two into four is eight. So it's x power eight. So it's two power twelve into x power eight. Let's see another example. Three x power two y power three the whole power four. So three is the constant and x and y are the variables. Three is nothing but three power one. When taking a product to a power, you distribute the power to all the terms inside, taking the product of each of them. 
So here it's 3 power 1. So it's basically 3 power 1 into 4. So 3 power 1 into 4 is basically 3 power 4. So for x, it's x power 2 into 4. And we do the same for y, which is y power 3 into 4. So 3 power 1 into 4 is 3 power 4. And x power 2 into 4 is x power 8. And y power 3 into 4 is y power 12. So this is basically 3 power 4 into x power 8 into y power 12. 3 power 4 is 81. So it's basically 81 x into x power 8 into y power 12. Let's see another example. 2 power a divided by b power 6 the whole power 3. So here 2 is the constant and a and b are the variables. Remember when taking a product to a power, you distribute the power to all the terms inside the parentheses, taking the product of each of them. So here 2 is basically 2 power 1 and a is basically a power 1. So it's basically 2 power 3 because 2 power 1 into 3 is 2 power 3. And same with the a. It's basically a power 3 because a power 1 into 3 is a power 3 divided by b power 6 into 3. So here 2 power 3 is 8 and we write a power 3 as it is divided by b 6 into 3 is 18 so it's a into a power 3 divided by b power 18. Thanks for watching.